Hello everyone, it's your Gibbs, we're playing more Nancy Drew. I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but uh, anyways, we just finished up a little ice cream and a little conversation at Hotel de Ville. And uh, we're going to go to Place Mong. Mong? Yeah, I think it's Place Mong. Taking the subway, or sorry, the metro. So what is this place here? Uh, hello? What you cooking? Come in, come in, set your things down and come on over here. Uh, Hi, JJ Ling. I shake your hand, but I get flour all over you. Oh, and Heather called and told me about your luggage? No worries. I have plenty of clothes in every size imaginable. Your bedroom's down that hall. The airline lost my luggage once, told me it was gone for good and paid me a hundred dollars. Then five years later, my suitcase shows up on my doorstep. And a bill for the hundred dollars they'd paid me. Plus interest. <laughs> okay, that's usually not how it works, but, uh... It showed up five years later. What? You don't believe me? Actually, no. Ooh, you're honest, you're smart. You and I are gonna get along great, Nancy Drew. You were right not to believe me. I made it up. See, to be a good model, you kind of have to be a good actress, too. So sometimes I make things up, you know, just for practice. Just to see if I can get people to believe me. Mm-hmm. You were pretty believable. I've got some people convinced that I won the lottery and am actually a millionaire. It's kind of fun. Is you she... like chocolate chip cookies? Yes, yes we do. She kind of sounds Australian. I think that's part of the story, right? Uh, anyways, here. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. Uh, you know what, Nancy? I don't think this is necessary to say that you're making them on my account, are you? I think let's just get into it. Yes, please. I love chocolate chip cookies. Mm -mm. So do I. And the nice thing is, I'm about three pounds shy of being the perfect size 12 that I need to be for Minette. I have a very high metabolism. So, I make cookies, I eat cookies, and since you're here, I share cookies. Awesome! Why does Minette want you to be a size 12? Contractually, I have to be a size 12. See, Minette is into curves, so she designs clothes for full-figured curvy women. Mm -hmm. Because I signed on to be her fitting model, I have to maintain the ideal size 12 weight and shape. Curvy woman. Okay, I like it. I like it. What's a fitting model? A fitting model puts on samples from a designer's latest line, so the designer can create each piece on a real live person, instead of a dress form. It's not very exciting. In fact, it's totally boring. Plus, you're always getting stabbed with pins. But it pays the bills. Mm-hmm. Does anyone else live here? Nope. It's just me. And you now. Managed to get a short-term lease. Soon as I'm done being Minette's fitting model, I am out of here. When are you done? Heather wants me to pick up an envelope from you. Oh yeah, it's right over there. Heather needed a bunch of personal information so they can pay me. But I refuse to give it out over the phone. I'm real paranoid about that sort of stuff. Don't ask me why, I just am. Go ahead and take it to her. Okay. Can you think of anyone who might be out to get Minette? Well, Dieter, obviously. Uh, okay, who's Dieter? Dieter von Schwesterkrank? He and Minette went out for about six months. Uh, then okay. all of a sudden, last April, Minette dumped him. Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. Do you know why she broke it off? No idea. Although I suspect it has something to do with the fact that Dieter lets his pet boa constrictor run loose in that photographic studio of his. What? He has a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? <laughs> nice try, JJ. This time I'm telling the truth. Dieter really does keep a snake in his studio. <laughs> Hardly anybody knows about it. I think it may be illegal. Yep. <laughs> if you happen to be in there, be careful. Guess I'll be running along. Take care. Wait, wait, the cookies! Don't... I thought... Oh, maybe they're not baked yet, but... I thought we were getting some chocolate chip cookies, please. Good intentions. They have more power than you think. Paris, according to Zoo. Ask the young Frenchman who calls himself Zoo what his favorite part of Paris is. It's the place where all the skulls are buried. Okay. 
Oh, wow, that's kind of neat. Hmm. Fascinating. Uh, Hugo. Let's give Hugo a, a ring-a-ding-ding -ding here. Hugo, pick up your phone. Pick up, pick up. What? Another question? Look, just send the oldest, moldiest, worst-smelling cheese you have to that address. Now quit calling me and get it done! Uh, Mr. Butterly? Who is this? Well, it's obviously not who you think it is. <laughs> My name's Nancy Drew. I uh -huh. didn't know any Nancy Drew. I'm a, kind of a friend of Minette's. Her, I know. Is that smelly cheese by any chance going to her? Whatever for? Neither she nor her work needs any help from me to speak. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse me, whoever you are, I'm going to hang up. Goodbye, then. No, wait. I just want to... Burn! Yes. Ouch! Hugo's got a little something-something going on there that's uh, making him highly suspectable here. Would you like to proceed to the next day? Uh, no, I want to... I want to go and see the sights, see the world, see Perry. Empty. Recycle bin is empty. I want to go to the markets. I want to go to the cafe. Grower, discontent results. In mint shortage. Okay. Government aid raised to high post. Local mint growers are unhappy with the fact that mint prices have fallen. Interesting. Why is that relevant? Huh. Enterprising vendors do a thriving business in the local parks and on street vendors, sometimes charging five euro for a single sprig? Good grief. I love mint. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go shopping. I'm not sure what Rue de Bac is, but we'll go there. I want to go to the Eiffel Tower, please. Louvre. Where's the Champs de Lyon or whatever that place is? Hello there. Hi. No, no, don't say anything. Let me guess. You lost your passport, so you're looking for the American consulate to get it replaced. Only you wound up here because you asked a Parisian for directions, and you thought you understood what he said. Only you did it. Am I right? Mm, no. Well, you got the part about being an American, right? But you're not lost? Ugh, I must be losing my touch. Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Please don't tell me you're a would-be model who thinks her career would take off if only I would photograph her. No, my name's Nancy Drew. Minette sent me here to pick up some fabric photos. Ugh, I regret to say I have not printed them up yet, nor will I have time to do so for quite a while. Had I used my digital cameras, there would be no problem, but unfortunately, the essence of those fabrics was better captured by film. Really? I mean, really? <laughs> okay. But I need to deliver them to that fashion editor, Jean-Michel Traquenard, today. My regrets once again. Do you know how to make prints? Shh. <laughs> um... Nancy, are we going to go in here and uh, pretend? Uh, yes. Sure. Then all is well. There is a binder on the bookshelf that will tell you how to make prints with the paper I use, which is Krollmeister Eskachrome PB paper. The dark room is through the door with the red light by it, and the four negatives from which prints need to be made are next to the enlarger. I'm sure you'll do fine. Okay, <laughs> we're going to be... Developing some prints, are we? What's this? That's just a toy I made when I was a boy. Go ahead and play with it if you want. I still do. Yeah, I like toys. Aha. Nice camera. Is it digital? Yes. Very high res, though. Very limited capacity. Would you like to borrow it? Yes. I'd love to. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. Nice. Okay, so that's going to be the dark room. Uh, traffic lights, okay. 
Oh, cool fish tank. Where's Nemo? We're looking for Nemo. It's really loud. Holy cow. Dark room mist. Meister, thank you for the purchase of your curls, Meister. Blah 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 blah. Your curl, Meister. It's already already mounted on a special mounting bracket. Insert the negative you desire to create a print into larger. Turn off the lights. In larger negatives, developer, stop bath, fixer. Uh, may I take this binder into the dark room with me? Leave it in here, please. If you take it in there, you might spill something on it. Oh, boy. Developing fluid, stop bath fixer. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Okay. Man, that fish tank is super loud. What else is going on over here? Hmm. All right, well, let's take a crack at it, then. Just make sure you don't knock over anything in there. Some of those chemicals are extremely volatile. I will do my best to not blow up the place. Help yourself! Ha 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 ha! Well, you know, Nancy hasn't had a chance to kind of take care of her business. She's Whoa, been just on the go here. Those bottles of chemicals. One false move and boom. No, get out of here. That can't be possible. Splish splash, I'll be taking a bath. Na, 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 na. Shh, shh. Oh my gosh, it's pitch black in here. With all those chemicals around, I'm going to have to be real careful. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Before I turn this on, I need to figure out which negative I want to enlarge. Why are we doing this in the dark? Shoot. <laughs> Oops! Whoa! What the heck was that? <laughs> I think I blew up the dark room. <laughs> that scared me. Holy mackerel. Okay, I realize it's dangerous, but... Boy, oh boy. Uh... Okay. Put that in there, I think. Um, sure. Whew! I'm a little scared now. Good grief. Um. Okay, so. Got some fluids here. So one, two, three. And then the switch is where? Uh. Hmm. Okay. All right, um, so hit the switch. Oh my gosh, it's pitch black in here. With all those chemicals around, I'm going to have to be real careful. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, oh, I have the paper here. And we're going to put it... My god, it's like... How am I going to do this? Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. I guess we're just kind of... Leaving it there, and then we'll kind of go over here a little bit. Sure. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh-huh. And then we got to go over here somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. How are you coming in there? It usually only takes me seven minutes. Sometimes five. Never more than nine. Okay. There. All done. One down, three to go. It's Ooh. a picture of fabric, all right. Yay! I can't believe I did it. Oh, it's a button, too. Three more to go. <sighs> okay, okay, so turn off the lights. Um, switcher here. Okay, so we got that. Now we gotta go into this tray. Mm 
then we gotta go into this tray. Somewhere about here. Uh-oh. One chemical plus another chemical equals... No! Is it gonna really make me start all over again? Uh... Oh no, good. Phew! Holy cow. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so clearly I went over too far. Or not far enough, I don't know. It's gotta be around here somewhere then. Maybe down a little. Oh, I think I got it. And then somewhere over here? I probably didn't do the fixer part right. Oh no, I wrecked it. Oh man, is that actually that sensitive to the time? Hmm. Oh jeez. Didn't do the fixer right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's do this one now. I blow up my timer so you'll have to count to yourself. You know, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I think he's trying to distract us on purpose here. And then this one. There, all done. Finish another one. Yay, we're so good. It looks exactly like the one we just took. Oh wait, did it start me from scratch? Oh man, I thought I was doing good. Um... Man, this is hard work here. Okay, so we've got that one done. So for those of you who are wondering why I'm not talking, it's because I'm counting in my head. <laughs> There, all done. I'm getting there. Looks like fabric to me. Yay for fabric for me. I'm not even sure how many I'm supposed to do here. I've lost track now. Looks like I've only got two done. Oh boy. Sounds like there's like dogs outside, plane crashes, bumblebees. There, all done. That one looks like wallpaper. Um, which one have I not done? I'm not sure. This one doesn't look like anything. I can't even tell which ones I've done. I'm not sure if I've done the second one. Okay, let's just try it. And then we go in here. I like how he tries to, like, distract us with his counting here. And then last but not least... There. All done. 
Still missing the fourth one here. Okay. I'm going to pause right here, folks, because I think I don't know which one I'm going to done here, but I'm just going to pause and I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> 